Hey John, RBJ Racing. I just want to do a quick video of uh, doing a valve job on my on a vertical mill with my rollover fixture. The most efficient mill conversion on the market. There's nothing that's as efficient as fast on setup from seat to seat. Like my claim is two minutes. Um, typically it can even be a little less than two minutes from going from one hole to the next being ready to cut a seat. Uh, that's with my digital level, my new, as of today, patent pending center finder, and my new rollover fixture. This new rollover fixture is very rigid, simple, it's, it's, a, it's the nicest thing on the market. Uh, rollover fixture is $15.95, digital level is $11.95, it's very expensive parts, accurate to ten thousandths of an inch, it's just expensive to make, so I, the price is up there a little bit, but it's dead nuts. It's very. It saves time, and over over time you'll recoup your money on the whole thing. Three hundred for the uh, center finder. You can see all this on my website at rbjracing.com, or you can send me an email if you're interested in any of this stuff. You can shoot me an email at rbjracing with the numeral one at the end of it at gmail.com. Rbjracing with the number one at the end of it gmail.com. So here is an AMC Ironhead. That I've done, I've installed bronze guides in this cylinder head now, and I've installed hardened seats. You can see the last video I did was installing the hardened seats, and uh, I got a bunch of these engines going on right now. I specialize in these AMC engines, the V8s. Um, hardened seats in there, bronze guides, full bronze guides, and I've cut two holes. And on these two holes, I didn't. I've cut these two intakes. I'm going to cut these two intakes in, during this video to show you how quick and easy it is to set up and cut a seat. Uh, I've already done chamber cuts and a little bit of a bulk cut with these. I'm doing multiple cuts on this thing. I didn't do anything to the seat yet, but I wanted to do that much because I'm not, instead of just, I'm, I'm kind of demonstrating, say, in a production shop, uh, how quick it would be, just as fast as a seat and guide machine. Uh, and every bit as accurate as the best thing out there as far as seat concentricity. So I, I've, got, I've done those other two cuts on these other two seats, um, but you can see that there's, there, there's no good seat. When you can drop a valve and it just sort of thumps like that, you can see that I didn't touch the seats, it's thunking. I've cut these two seats already. You see the difference? Now I didn't check the seat concentricity. I didn't check the seat concentricity on these. On these two, but when the valve is bouncing like that, it's a good indication you got a you got a good seat. Uh, these are street heads. That that's going to be good enough for me. I'm not checking the seat concentricity, but I do set them all to within a thou or two. The free drop. The free drop is the distance from the deck to the to the top of the valve. Um, so that's it. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm set up on this hole here. I'm gonna shoot over to this hole here. So basically you just move your guide and again, a little bit of review. What I like to do is turn my socket so I can see the cutout for the, for the ball head driver that catches the tangs, the dowels, drive pins. Uh, and to get me sort, you know, real close to on center just by my ball. Uh, so I'm going to move it. So basically, so basically, if you kind of keep it, pay attention to how much time it's taking me right here, I'm going to move over, I'm going to level off, I'm going to find center, and I'm going to be ready to cut a seat. So kind of keep it, pay attention to kind of how long this takes. I, I'm saying two minutes. I, I checked it a couple other times. It was actually, it wasn't even two minutes. But. So I'm going to move it over until I get close to center. Like I said, I'm just going to eyeball it on center with the slot, and I'm not trying to break any records here. So that's it. No tool changes either with my system. Before you had to swap out a coaxial dial indicator or a dial test indicator to find center after you leveled it off, that's gone. So I grab my digital level sensor block holder. I'm going to check my numbers. I got to move it a little bit. So I'm going to loosen that up so I can't. I always adjust this axis first and then that axis. Why? Because if I have to adjust the, 
the, the stand will prevent me from just common sense. The stand's going to prevent me from doing any doing it any other way. So always adjust this way first. So basically, you're going to loosen this up, both ends, and I'm going to I'm watching my digital level. It's got to come up a little bit to, on this end. Getting a little finicky, but so there's that on level. Now find center. Next one, I'll, I'll get my my stopwatch going. Just to, of course, I'm doing some instruction here, so it's going to be a little different. But you can see, even talking to you. And messing around at the same time. So basically, you're going to find center here by love by uh, with my center finder, and I'm on center, and that's it. Even talking and explaining while I'm going. I mean, that's how quick and easy it is to come up to be on center. Now I told you I already did a ball cut and a chamber cut, so I'm going to come in, turn my speed down a little bit, and cut the seat. Remember, it was thunking before. But when it's bouncing like that, when it's bouncing like that, you, you got it. It's 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 pretty good. Uh, and that's it. I mean, I leveled it off. I found center. No tool changes. I was talking to you, and I still did it in a pretty fairly efficient time. Now, again, I'll check it again. I'll check it and set set it with. I check it with a deck bridge. I sweep it on the x and the y axis, and that's how I set my. That's how I set my free drop, which is the, again the distance from the deck to the head to the highest point of that valve. And that's, I mean, it's as easy as that. You can see that this system, you know, to, to have this system and maybe a couple ball heads, <clears throat> you're going to need to work supports and some bounce springs, some cutters, and whatnot. You, you're looking at a little bit of a size, you know, maybe four thousand, forty-five hundred dollars, but. You can turn your, turn this into. I mean, look what it costs for a seat and guide machine. A used Surti or a Sunin or a Rottler, any anything used is, you know, twelve, twenty, twenty five, thirty five thousand dollars, whatever. They're out there for a lot of money. So, for for pennies on a dollar, you can now with this system, the most efficient system on the market, uh, you can turn your your. Vertical mill and do a seat and guide machine. I'll, I'll cut one more just for the heck of it. Uh, I'll scooch this over um, to here so you can see one more time. I'll try to be a little bit so kind of pay attention. I'm going to set this. I got my uh, <laughs> I 
I got my uh, timer going. <laughs> So, eyeball center, eyeball center, level it off, same thing every, every one, level it off, Get a little more picky. Now this thing, this thing, you can't see it on your end, but it's moving. It's moving. I'm looking for a 394. It's going 393, 394, 393, 394. Um, it's only a couple tenths, you know. But I like to hit my number. This thing, this thing levels it off. It's, it's, it's active. You level, you level off with this, and then swipe your sweep your uh, pilot with uh, a dial test indicator and you're all, it's always zero to a tenth of, de of deflection. It's always right there. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm thinking long. Alright, so anyway, I'm, look no, I'm not on time. Where are we at? A minute 49. No, let's click there. Let's start playing around here. <laughs> All right. I'm good. So I'm leveled off and on center. And even messing around. Two minutes and 13 seconds. Pretty quick, really, on a seat and guy on a, on a um, milling machine. There it is. You got a good, good bounce. Again, you got to check for, you got to check it with a concentricity gauge to really know. But when they're bouncing like that, it, you got to. I've checked enough of them. You got to, you got a pretty good seat going on. Typically, less than a thou of an inch, seven tenths to less with every seat you cut. Um, so that was three and a half minutes. And that was messing around. That's cutting a seat, moving over and cutting a seat. Uh, five angles. I just brought it in with one cutter, but I guess that's the way it is with multi-angle cutters. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, that's how easy this thing is. Again, it's, uh, it's about thirty-two fifty for the whole system plus, uh, and that's delivered uh, to your doorstep. But um, it saves you time and money. There's nothing like this on the market for a mill now. This, it's finally here where you got seat and guide machine capabilities on your vertical mill. The speed, there's no, the, the speed is no longer an issue. That problem is solved. So you got speed and the accuracy of a mill and the speed plus the, the versatility of a mill. You can do, it's incredible what you can do on this thing. And I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be a machinist. Uh, but I mean, I've learned over time just that, man, you can, it's uh, pretty amazing the stuff that you can do with these mills. And then with a fixture like this, and you can fix your manifolds and whatever else on there, and it's pretty incredible. Uh, again, like I said in a previous video, this is going to be the most versatile tool in your shop, this milling machine with this system on it. 
And now you can be cut seat. You got seat and guide. You don't have to spend all that money to be production. This is this production speed right here on your vertical mill. This is a thirteen. I bought this used for thirteen hundred dollars. I've upgraded it, but I mean, still, it just represents what you can do with a, a relatively inexpensive machine. So that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you. And again, uh, rbjracing.com or RBJ Racing with the number one ad at the end of it at gmail.com. You can get a hold of me if you're interested in any of this stuff. Uh, thank you for watching.